Hello and welcome to this extra cosy reading vlog where I'm going to read cosy fantasy. I don't know for how long. I It's Friday night now. I have the weekend off work and I'm working from home on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So we're going to keep this going for as long as I feel like filming. And I have a pile of potential books here. Three of them I definitely want to read for this video and then the others I will get to if I get to them. So the first one is The House Witch by, I'm still not sure how to pronounce this author's name, Delem Hach, don't know, and this one I have the audiobook which I got for my birthday from my friend Jessie and I got this physical book from my friend Joanna so I'm going to be reading this one. And I also was gifted a Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking by Abby for my birthday. And I have the audiobook for this one on script, so I want to read this one as well. And today I went and I picked up The Monsters We Defy by Leslie Penelope. And this one I've heard Elle talk about. It sounds very, very cute. I don't know a huge amount about any of these, really, other than they're kind of cosy fantasy and they're cute. Uh, but this one, I, I was really struggling to find books by authors of colour and particularly by black authors and this is one that Joanna helped me to find so thank you to her for helping me find that one. And then some other potential options. We have The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. This one is a middle grade book. And then we also have, I could finish a series with, it's a duology, with The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. I don't know if this 100% counts as cosy fantasy, but it's that kind of vibe. And then along a similar vein, we have Song of Silver, Flame Like Night by Amelie Owen Zhao. And both of these are potential options as well. I also have a couple of books that I only have digitally so all of these I can get the audiobooks from various places so I would immerse and read them as much as possible and then I also have through the Audible Plus catalogue the Mistwick School of Music Craft. I'm actually not sure who the author of that one is, let me just check. Jessica Corey and the other one that I have the audiobook on hold at the library, it should come through soon, and that is Shady Hollow. I also don't know who that one's by. <laughs> Juno Black is who that one's by, although I thought that that was going to come in soon and it's saying it's four weeks away. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I get on with those. But I have lots and lots of options and I think that I am going to start with The House Witch because it's really, really calling to me. It has been for ages now. So I think I'm going to start with this one. But alongside all of this very cosy reading in this vlog, I do want to do my nails. I might have a bath. I want to do some baking and I need to update my reading journal. So... It's going to be, it's going to be cosy vibes. I will also hopefully at some point during this vlog be going skating, which is less cosy, but I really enjoy it. So I will try and get some shots from that for all you if I can. But for now, I am going to go ahead and start the house switch and I'm going to start this as an immersion read because that just sounds really great to me. So that's what I'm going to do.
It is now Saturday night and I have been reading this book for like what 24 hours or so now and I'm on page 328 chapter 39 and it's cute it's about a man named Finn who becomes the cook of the king and queen and he is a house witch and he doesn't want them to find out but of course people start finding out and he's not very good at keeping it a secret and he's like he's like grumpy energy but also a real cinnamon roll and his magic is house magic and so he can like if you've ever seen the scene in Disney's The Sword in the Stone where Merlin uses his magic to clean up the kitchen to help Arthur get his job done more quickly, Finn's magic is like that. And this whole book is giving me that scene's vibes, which makes me want to watch that film. <laughs> but that's really what, what is going on here. There is a cat and the cat is named Kraken and it is Finn's, Kraken is Finn's familiar and we get some chapters that are from Kraken's perspective which is really fun and cute and it's not, it's not no plot, I'd say it's more plot than Legends and Lattes but not, you know, full on plot. It's much more about the cosy vibes, which is exactly what I was going for. So I've got a couple of hours of the audiobook left. I am hoping that I am going to finish that today so that I can then move on to one of my next reads, either The Monsters We Defy or A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking will be next, I think. I might do Wizard's Guide just because I already have the audiobook of that and it will just give me an extra day to see if the audiobook for The Monsters We Defy comes in from the library. It may not, but oh well. I'm going to carry on reading this one for now though and I will let you know once I have finished it. I am wearing my hoodie this evening which is very cosy and Kayla from the channel Books and Lala is about to do a members only live reading sprint thing so I will probably tune in for that as well. That's that's where that's where we're at so far. I painted my nails earlier which I showed you and quite happy with how they turned out. This was a colour that I got for my birthday which I forgot to show in my birthday haul because I had already put it away but you've seen it now because I'm now wearing it and I did do some baking but I decided not to film that because it's actually really complicated <laughs> to film baking because I don't have a huge amount of space in my kitchen. It's not that my kitchen is small, it's just that the way that it's laid out there's not really very many good places to actually put the camera that you would actually be able to see anything so I, I didn't film that but I made two two cakes I made a healthy banana bread uh, which I am going to take with me to my mum's tomorrow for Mother's Day and the other one I made was an almond and dried sour cherry loaf which has collapsed a little bit but it tastes fine and yeah I'm gonna get back to my book. See you later.
wanted to pop in to say that I did indeed finish the house witch last night. I think what prevented me from absolutely loving this and having it be a new favourite is actually it was a little bit too fast paced for me. I am realising that I am very much so in my slow books era of reading and this was just a little bit too fast paced for that which is interesting because it then also ends on a cliffhanger which I was not expecting at all didn't see that coming and all of a sudden it just ends like basically in the middle of a scene and I was very much not expecting that at all uh, so the, the rest I think well I think there are going to be three books there are three books out right now whether or not those are the only three that there are ever going to be I don't know but books two and three are out so I can read those but I'm not going to be reading them for this vlog because I have a TBR that I want to read so but I will be reading them fairly soonish because 2023 is the year of not leaving series unfinished for years so I will be finishing sorry I've got a frog in my throat I will be finishing the rest of the series very soon so you can stay tuned on my monthly wrap-ups to see my thoughts on that but I did enjoy this didn't absolutely love it but I did really enjoy it so now I'm going to be moving on to a wizard's guide to defensive baking by T Kingfisher I don't know if this is I think this is YA actually this one was adult but with some quite childish humour, but like childish in an adult way, like, I don't want to say it because I don't want to ruin it, but you just have to, it's crass, but I enjoyed it. Um, this one's much shorter, I think. This one is 306 pages long. I was using this bookmark for the house witch, which felt very appropriate because of the teacup and everything, but I'm going to pick a different one for baking I think. So let's see what the options are. So we have this moon and we have a butterfly and we have a sun there. I think I'm going to go with the moon because it colour matches a little bit. Kind of. I mean it's this is blue and this is purple, so pink would probably go quite nicely as well. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the with the moon one for this book. There we go. We have bookmark ready to go. The tassel goes with the writing on the front of the cover as well. I know I'm a bit weird about bookmarks. Okay. Uh, right. I'm going to get dressed now and head over to visit my mum so I'm going to be listening to the audiobook of this while I drive. My whole immersion reading thing is really not playing out. <laughs> I'm just so used to reading while I'm doing other things that finding time to sit down and just read is difficult and not part of my normal habit. So I'm going to listen to this while I am driving to my mum's and while I'm driving back and then I will read it later and hopefully I will be able to read this today ideally so that I can start with another book tomorrow. Today's Sunday by the way and as I mentioned I think I mentioned I'm working from home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week so I can continue this vlog a little bit more easily than I could if I was going into the office. So anyway I'm rambling I am gonna go and get ready and then I will start this when I start driving.
It is now Tuesday night and as usual I've been rubbish at keeping this vlog updated. I don't know what it is, after a couple of days of vlogging I just start to lose steam and then I'm like oh I haven't filmed anything for ages, well now I feel like I don't have anything to say. It just, it spirals whatever. So updating you, I read A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking on Sunday. I did finish it on Sunday night or early hours of Monday morning depending on your point of view but I enjoyed this one. It was a fun kind of adventure-y story. The characters were a little bit younger than I was expecting because it's YA and usually in YA books, at least these days, they tend to be kind of, you know, 17, 18, 19 even sometimes. And the characters in this were 14 and 10. So definitely younger end of YA. And it reads that way too, but in a fun way. So it's like middle grade, but just aged up very slightly to be accessible for this younger YA audience, which I really appreciated. It's good fun. As the title of the book suggests, it follows, well, it, it, it is soft fantasy. So there is a magic system, but it's very, very basic level. And we follow Mona, who is a wizard, and her magic centers around being able to tell Doe how to behave. And she thinks that that means that her power is not particularly helpful, but throughout the course of the book, she realizes that actually, there is a lot of use for her particular powers. And there's you know, a gingerbread man familiar and some baddies to overthrow. And it was just, it was siege, sorcery, sourdough. Very, very good. There is a siege in here. That was quite enjoyable. I just really found this a fun and easy read, which is kind of what I was going for. Then I decided to pick up the Monsters We Defy next and Unfortunately, I have DNF'd this one, which is really, really sad. And it's not the book's fault. It's my fault for not realizing what this book was. I was expecting Ocean's Eleven style heist. I shouldn't have been expecting that. I mean, look at the cover <laughs> to begin with, but I just didn't, I just didn't add two and two together. This is much more film noir heist, and that is just not my vibe whatsoever. I'm not a huge fan of historical fiction anyway. The 20s thing is a really difficult one to get me to go for. If I'm gonna go for some sort of a period drama then I prefer 1800s type stuff. 1900s type stuff, not really my thing and Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and unfortunately this one just didn't grab me. I think if you like that kind of thing though, this one's gonna be great for you. It's a very, you know, there's, there's magic, and there's a little bit of a mystery behind the magic system as well, but then the characters also have kind of a mysterious plot line that they need to follow. The representation is fantastic. It's just the, the, the type of story it is doesn't work for me unfortunately, which is really very, very sad. I feel really gutted about that, but totally my own fault for not properly checking what the book was about. I just read Heist and was like, hey, great, fantastic. And then I realized it was a heist in the 1920s and I was like, okay, not really, not really what I was going for. So that one was a DNF, which is a shame. And actually I've done a lot of DNFing this month, so, not ideal. I am now reading, I've started listening to the Mistwick School of Music Craft. Sorry that that's flickering, not ideal for you there. It is in the Audible Plus catalogue, so I've been able to access it for free, and it was recommended to me by my friend Jessie. And while I was listening to that, because it's a middle grade, so it's very easy to follow the plot, it's about a world where the magic comes from music. So you play a musical instrument and that's how you cast a spell. And we're following a character who wants to go to a specific school to study music craft and we go from there. And so it's, it's middle grade, it's not super difficult to follow. So while I was listening to that, I was researching another book by 
a black author that I could potentially read because I just felt so bad that the one that I had on this TBR ended up just not being a genre that is my thing and so I wanted to find another book by a black author um, especially because I don't think I'm going to have time to read either of these books which are also by authors of colour which means that I'll have had an entirely white TBR for this video which is not great. I haven't been doing so great with this all year actually and particularly in terms of black authors. I tend to be okay on other authors of colour but black authors I'm lacking in that so anyway I need to do better at that. So I was searching specifically for something cosy that I could read but I was really struggling as I mentioned before to find anything within the cosy fantasy genre and it's possibly because it's still so new and emerging so actually what I found were a couple of contemporary book options and those are Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers which is a accidental marriage romance which I have seen the film what's it called what happens in Vegas is it and I really enjoyed it so I think I like that trope and I have heard good things about Honey Girl but I haven't read it yet but I am a little concerned that that might be too long for me to fit in this vlog because really I only have tonight and tomorrow and tonight is already 10 o'clock so whether or not I'm going to manage to get that finished. I mean I've set tomorrow as an arbitrary deadline it doesn't actually matter if it goes over into Thursday but I, I, I kind of think that I really only have time for one more book in this particular vlog. And the other option I have is Blackout which was edited by Danielle Clayton but has various different authors because it's an anthology kind of I think. It's like a short story collection but on a similar theme or it, you know it's all set I think in New York City during a blackout and so the, the storylines are interconnected so it's kind of an anthology but it's also kind of just a, a novel with multiple authors I think if I've understood the premise correctly. Uh, it's definitely not historical so we'll be fine with that. Neither of these are historical but I think I'm probably going to do Blackout because the audiobook for that one is six hours and I feel like that's a little bit more realistic to fit in to this vlog. Now Neither of these are fantasy, as mentioned, I think they're both actually contemporary, uh, contemporary romance specifically, but romance is cosy, so it still fits with the general vibe that I was going for here, and actually I think breaking all of this up with a little bit of contemporary romance thrown in amongst the cosy fantasy is probably not a bad idea because I was starting to feel a little slumpy, probably because I was trying to force myself to like the monsters we defy when it just is not my thing and you know it was it was never going to be my thing, it's just not a thing that I get on with. So I think I'm going to start Blackout tonight actually and I will continue with Mistwick tomorrow as well and we'll see how I get on. I will update you when there is something to update you on. I don't have any physical copies of any of my current pl planned reads to show you so I will have to put pictures on the screen and yeah I will see you hopefully much sooner than the last time but at least you've had some b-roll to enjoy in the meantime so you know it's not a complete fail hopefully. So it's the next week now. <laughs> Have you ever done that where you think about doing something so hard that you convince yourself that you've actually already done it? Because that's what I did with this vlog. I convinced myself that I had finished filming it when in fact I hadn't finished filming it. So I'm back to do that now. On the plus side it means that I have... sorry you've got the reflection in my glass let me take them off. 
it means that I have now edited the rest of the vlog and I know that I'm happy with it so that's that's something that doesn't usually happen when I'm filming the outro so that's nice. I finished both Blackout and the Mistwick School of Music Craft. Mistwick was a middle grade story, fairly short, fairly cute magic system and the audiobook has music in the background so orchestral pieces which are actually played by a children's orchestra and the music was really really good of course I listened sped up so I listened at 2.5 speed so it meant that the music experience wasn't quite what it was supposed to be and also I found the music a little bit distracting from the story in some way I don't it's just something I'm not used to. So I enjoyed the story and I thought that the audiobook was really really well put together but perhaps not the best choice for me. I might have done better with an, a proper immersion read of that one. I already told you what the plot of it is about and I don't really want to tell you any more about it because it is actually quite short but I think that it is a very very sweet story and very cosy which is apt for this vlog and then Blackout was also cosy but in a different way and the explanation I gave you for it before was kind of right and kind of not so it does take place in New York City during a blackout and it is by multiple authors Danielle Clayton's story takes part in different chapters throughout the the course of the book and all of the other short stories are interconnected because they are characters that are side characters in the the, the Danielle Clayton story that goes through the whole book so like it's the friend of one of those characters or the brother of or the sister of etc and they're all brief romancy type stories they're all pretty cute it's YA so it's very easy reading and very like no steam whatsoever but it was very cute and I was right I did need that little romantic breakup uh, between all of the cosy fantasy stuff and I really enjoyed it and I've been meaning to read Blackout for quite some time now so I'm glad that I got around to that one and I think that they have another book coming out or maybe it's already out called Whiteout which is during a snowstorm in New York so I'll pick that up at some point I didn't get to read Honey Girl which I didn't think that I would but I do still want to read that so I'll pick that up at some point as I will with the other books that I mentioned as potential books for this TBR but really this TBR was mostly about cozy and this vlog was mostly about being cozy and I feel like that has been achieved so I hope that you have enjoyed this very cosy vlog. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the kitties and the journaling and the skincare and the nail painting. I've actually changed the colour since you saw that and that's it for this one. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks. Bye.